Okay, now the process is what we'll do first is this pipe running from the filter to the pump. We just loosen that screw as much as we can. I've already pre-loosened that, so it should come off pretty easily. But be aware, you will get fuel coming out, okay? So you want, might want something to block it with, either a screwdriver or a bolt that should fit inside the actual connector there, okay? So we'll just slide it off. Should come off easy enough. I've just got a silicon nozzle, which I will use just to plug that hole. As you can see, the fuel popped out a bit there. But we'll just hold that up there to stop any further fuel coming out. Okay, next process is the larger one here on top. What we're going to do here, we'll take this one off, but I'm going to use a little bucket, little tray, just to catch any fuel that will bypass and flow back through the pipe, coming back down. So we're trying to eliminate as much as we can not to go in to the engine bay there. So hang on. Just remove this one as well. Loosen it up enough. Because there is a little bulge on the end of the pipe here, if you can see there. If you don't loosen that little clamp enough, you will have trouble pulling it off there. Slide that through that. Okay. Wasn't much fuel that came out of that, so that's good. So we're good with that one. Okay, next process is the two bolts that actually hold the petrol pump in place. It's a 13 mil. You can use on the outer side a ring spanner, um, which is quite easy to remove. But on the inner, you're going to need a socket with a little extension bar. So they come off. Quite easy. There's a torque setting on these petrol pumps, but you know what? Do them hand tight enough, put enough pressure on it, don't over tighten it, you should be fine. So we'll just get the ring spanner now. Try to find where the nut is. Now you will be aware that you will have petrol inside the pump sitting there, okay? So even if you just use a rag or something, maybe a good idea just to place a rag under it. I'll take my own advice and get one. Um, and just loosen that other nut. Any Joe Blow can change these, it is not hard. So if you do have a classic Fiat 500 or a 126, uh, easy enough. And there you have it. One petrol pump removed. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty shot, I think on the way out. Definitely wouldn't have as much pressure as what a new one would have.